Hi guys, I would like to introduce a tool palette which I am using in AutoCAD 2D piping drawing. On my right hand side you can see the commonly used pipe fittings such as flanges, elbows, reducing T's, T's, reducers and there is a pipe cut a symbol also you can see. So I use this this palette uh, for making piping drawings which I find easy when we do a sketch a simple sketch or even some uh, real piping drawing uh, using AutoCAD 2D. <coughs> Here I will show you how this uh, tool palette working and uh, I'll tell you how to install how to set up a tool palette on the AutoCAD. If I want to put a flange on my drawing, I just want to click on this and put it on the screen on the drawing. Then zoom in and click on the blue button, blue arrow. You can see here there you will get the sizes you want to select the size whichever you desire to use if I am going for 6 inch I will click on 6 inch and you must have noticed that the image has reduced <coughs> from its default size 8 inch so if I go to half inch click on half inch and it has again reduced so I'll go back to 6 inch then you can see there is a tail on the right side of this flange or at the joint where you can measure uh, just see whether the dimension is correct yeah so all the blocks for all the sizes has been created uh, based on the data sheet or catalog for a standard schedule 40 uh, ASME flange B16.5 flange so you don't want to go and refer other drawings all drawings or the data sheet again to create a flange and it is the easy way that click on the palette and put it on your drawing and these blocks have been created using a function a tool which is called dynamic block in the AutoCAD so I'm not go not going into detail on dynamic block and how it, it functions but here I would like to show that how easily you can create a piping assembly or a piping drawing by this tool palette so if you don't need this tail you can keep it back and uh, if you want to use an elbow put an elbow here and uh, click on the right side and 6 inch yeah then here and if you want to put another flange or we'll go to uh, reducers click on the reducer then uh, click here and you can see an array of reducers and uh, we should select six inch and the four inch so I'll rotate it to yeah. and again if you need to put a flange you can click uh, if you need to put again a flange you can click from here or even you can copy this to here and rotate and select 4 inch keep it there
give to a num gap here. Then this is how it is working. If I need to put another T here, and there is a, there are various types, sizes, and four inch. Rotate it to here. So, um, keep two lines here. And, and this is 4 inch and you can see that it is a 4 inch pipe then if you need to show the continuation I have created a pipe cut symbol also so that can be used on the drawing keep it here so uh, it is so easy to make a sketch using this uh, this palette so now I will show you how to make this palette. I have a file, I have a folder in which there are files like this. I have named this folder to pipe fittings. Don't delete this folder because if if this folder is deleted or uh, this is replaced or this is removed from here, relocated somewhere else, the link between the tool palette and uh, <coughs> uh, the file will not work this file is con this folder is containing the files re related to the tool palettes uh, in our AutoCAD uh, window so if you if I op open this not this one ignore and solved sorry and, uh, pipe fittings you can see that there are fittings flanges reducers and all this uh, these blocks it is these all are dynamic blocks that means it has some other property intelligent property also uh, with them so if I want to put this palette this these fittings to a new palette uh, we will see how we will do that we can create a new palette and on AutoCAD you can see that there are attic there are a lot of other uh, inbuilt uh, tool palettes which will allow you for other purposes like uh, there are civil electrical mechanical so we are making a custom tool palette so right click on the tool palette and there is an option for new tool palette so click on new new tool palette and I will name to KSK KSK sorry KSK pipe fittings so then is it that you can just drag and drop these files onto the tool palette and the block names are already there so now if you want to insert an elbow as we have explained as I have explained before you just want to click and put it on the drawing then all the sizes are there so this is how we create a tool palette I will uh, I will send you this file separately so that you can you can do this exercise and key, uh, create a tool palette I hope this will uh, help you to improve the AutoCAD 2D piping drawing uh, uh, speed and productivity thanks for watching bye bye, -bye.